Disclaimer. The tool discussed in this video is intended for educational purposes and legitimate cybersecurity activities only. It should be used by ethical hackers and cybersecurity professionals to identify and mitigate vulnerabilities in systems, networks, and applications. Unauthorized use of this tool for malicious activities, such as unauthorized access to devices, eavesdropping, spying, data theft, and social engineering attacks, is illegal and unethical. Black Hat Hacking, which involves exploiting hacking skills for criminal purposes, is punishable by law. We strongly condemn any use of this tool for malicious purposes and urge all users to adhere to legal and ethical standards in their cybersecurity practices. Before dive into the tool please make sure hit the subscribe button today. It not only shows your support but it also fuels our passion to bring you even more amazing content. Thank you so much. Stormbreaker Stormbreaker is an advanced tool that has gained significant attention in the cybersecurity community for its comprehensive suite of features designed for social engineering and information gathering. Its primary functions include geolocation, device information retrieval, social media data extraction, and access to device microphones, cameras, and take pictures or screenshots. These capabilities make it an invaluable asset for ethical hackers and cybersecurity professionals aiming to test and strengthen the security of systems and networks. The geolocation module of Stormbreaker allows users to pinpoint the physical location of a target device using IP addresses. This can be particularly useful for tracking lost or stolen devices, or for verifying the location of users in a network security context. The device information retrieval feature provides detailed data about the target device, such as operating system, hardware specifications, and network configurations, which can help in identifying potential vulnerabilities. Stormbreaker's ability to extract data from social media platforms enables users to gather extensive information about a target, such as personal details, activity patterns, and social connections. This data can be crucial for building comprehensive threat profiles and understanding potential security risks. One of the most powerful and controversial features of Stormbreaker is its capability to access microphones and cameras on target devices. This allows cybersecurity professionals to test the robustness of privacy controls and the potential for unauthorized surveillance. However, this same capability can be exploited by malicious hackers for invasive spying. Unauthorized access to a device microphone and camera can enable eavesdropping on private conversations and visual monitoring of individuals without their knowledge, posing serious privacy threats. In the hands of black hat hackers, Stormbreaker can be a weapon for conducting sophisticated cyber attacks. For instance, they might launch phishing campaigns that use social engineering techniques to trick victims into granting access to their devices. Once access is obtained, hackers can activate the microphone and camera, turning the device into a spying tool. Geolocation data can be used to stalk victims or plan physical break-ins, while social media data can be exploited for identity theft, blackmail, or crafting highly convincing social engineering attacks. Enough discussion, now let's get hands-on experience to install and use this tool. Let's open up Kali Linux and install Stormbreaker tool and use it. Open up your browser, go to Google and type Stormbreaker tool from GitHub. Click on first link. This will the home page of this tool where we can copy all files into our terminal. Click on code and copy this link. Now back to terminal. First select directory where you can copy files. I'm going to cd into desktop folder where I'm going to copy all files. You can choose where you want to. Now paste copied link along with git clone and hit enter. As you can see all files copied successfully. Now type ls. Here you can see directory called stormbreaker. cd into this directory. Now you can see all files of this tool which we will use later in this video. First type sudo apt update to update your Kali Linux package manager, which will help us to update and find latest packages for further installation. After done update, 
we are going to install some packages of Python 3, which will required for this tool. After done installation of these packages, I'm going to clear the screen and type ls again. Now I'm going to install this tool into our Kali Linux. Here you can see installation file named install.sh. It is written in bash so we can type bash along with the file name and hit enter. Here you can see our tool is installing. After done installation, I'm going to clear the screen and type ls again. Here you can see file called st.py. It is a Python file so type Python 3 along with file name and hit enter. Now you can see our tool is running. Here we have two links shown. First one is our localhost web panel which we are going to use in order to track people or targets information and see their location. Second it will telling us to use a program called ngrock to use this localhost link outside our network. This will allow us to use this tool against any computer or any device in the world regardless which location they are. Now we have to download ngrock first. So I'm going back to our browser and download ngrock. Open up Google and type ngrock click on download link. Here you can see it is available for Windows, Mac, Linux and others operating systems. Click on Linux and now. Click on download. Now you can see it's going to download. After downloading done, we have to copy this first link and go to the terminal. Here I'm going to split my screen for better understand what's going on. Now paste link here in second terminal. As you can see it's not going to work, let's try another way. Now go back to download page, copied this link right here and paste it into the terminal again. As you can see it's going to install ngrock services. After done installation I'm going to clear the screen and type ngrock and hit enter. As you can see it's installed into our Kali Linux operating system. Now before using this program we will go for sign up to use its services and linked it into our terminal. So go ahead and create account with this service. Creating an account is very very easy. I have created already so I'm going to login. After login scroll down here you can see it's telling us to connect to your account. Copy this link right here and go back to terminal again. Now paste link here and hit enter. Here you can see our authentication tokens has been saved into configuration file. We are successfully connected. Now you have to execute this command which we discussed earlier. Simply copy this command and paste it here and hit enter. Basically we are using ngrock to expose the service which is running on this port 2525 on HTTP. Now it's running perfectly. It is giving us this forwarding link which are linked to this localhost link which are our localhost link which created by Stormbreaker earlier. Copy this forwarding link. Go to browser, paste it and hit enter. Now type username admin and password also admin. Click on login. As I mentioned earlier this is our admin control panel. So from here we have all of this links that can share with our targets that we want to track and gather information about. We can be able to get information of targeted device here in results section. Now I'm going to copy nearby link and open up new tab and paste it there. Now web page will be open if we are going to click on continue it will pop up for capture our current location. If victim will click on allow, its location will be shown into our admin panel. Now back to our control panel here you can see information like IP address, operating system, geolocation and many others. Now I'm going to copy camera link and send it to my phone which is connected to in another network. Here you can see my smartphone informations and you can see its capture picture from my front camera and save it into image folder. Now back to our terminal search for image folder. Type ls-la. Here you can see dot image directory. CD into this directory type ls here you can see images which we have captured earlier. The ethical use of Stormbreaker and similar tools is paramount. Cybersecurity professionals must ensure they have proper authorization before conducting any security assessments or penetration tests. The focus should always be on identifying and mitigating vulnerabilities to enhance security, rather than exploiting these tools for malicious purposes. By adhering to legal and ethical standards, 
we can harness the power of Stormbreaker to build a safer and more secure digital environment. Thanks for watching this video. Show your support by subscribe to our channel. Do not forget like, share and comment down below. See you in the next one.